Hey guys, this is Travis Bayless with Beyond My Polar Blog. In the last two video episodes, I covered the two out of three things that it takes to lose weight when you have a mental illness. Number one is to have that fire, which is the desire to actually achieve a goal that you want. And number two is to be on the right diet, have a clean diet, something that you can learn in the previous video. So this leads to the third step, which is discipline. Discipline is very important when it comes to losing weight. You might have the desire to lose weight, but that isn't always the case. There might be days where you struggle. There might be days where you do not want to work out. However, if you have a routine that promotes stability and structure, which is something very helpful for people with mental illness. People that have structure can set goals. They can actually try to put them in a position where they want to achieve something. And I think exercise is one of the many things that you could be doing to actually ground yourself into a position where you are living a more stable life. Now, to be honest with you, desire often is caused by instant gratification, but with discipline that can have a long lasting standing with you and that routine in the long one will be more helpful for you than just having the intense desire because there are going to be days where you don't have that intensity but you still have to draw with the best ability that you can to work out to get through the day to get your goals done and that is the reason why discipline is so crucial when it comes to losing weight for people with bipolar disorder or people that are manic or people that are feeling relatively high Discipline helps with impulse control because you know this is something that you got to do regardless of your mood and this also helps with procrastination. Those two can be very bad when it comes to bipolar disorder especially when you are manic you want to be impulsive and when you're depressed you want to procrastinate however you want to try to remain balanced as possible and this can only be helped with meds. I stress medications. I've been on 30 as I stated before and it can take a lifelong process of getting on the right medications. It's not something that is easy for you. You got to keep at it if you want to remain stable. And I feel medications are the best result in the beginning of your mental health journey. You also want to consider therapy, whether it's dialectal behavioral therapy, individual therapy, and you want to put yourself in an environment in which you have more control that is around less toxic people and ability in which you can stay motivated, environment in which you have the ability to work out and time to work out. With these involved, I hope it increases sleep hygiene. Sleep hygiene is very critical if you wanna remain disciplined because getting the right and proper amount of sleep can definitely help you in the end. Now for me, what else can I do to improve my discipline? Number one is my medication. I take Zimbalta, which is my antidepressant, right away when I wake up because I feel that has gave me uh, more of the stability that I need in terms of avoiding the lethargy and maybe lack of wanting to get up and things like that. So that's the reason why I take Zimbalta, the antidepressant right away when I get up. Not a lot of people can do that. Some take it at night. But for me, if I'm able to take the medication Zimbalta in the morning, that's when I take it. And that has helped me in the long run, though I do take some small dose of Zimbalta at night. Another thing that helped me is not only medications, but coffee. I am not a guy that likes to eat right away when I wake up. I often work out right away or two or three hours later and if I don't feel like working out, you do not have to work right away when you wake up, but it's some common practice that you should involve yourself in because if you get that out of the way, then you can progress and do other things in your life that's more enjoyable. But for me, working out is a passion of mine and I find working out very enjoyable for the most part. And it gives me the body that I'm really looking for. I'm in the best shape of my life. So I'm glad I'm able to do that. Now, for those on disability, those on SSDI, Social Security, 
those that are on SSI and are at least maintaining the ability in which they have control of their time. Exercise should be crucial in your workout. All right, your routine and general routines are great for you because it gives you structure. Structure is important for mental health. You might think that not having anything to do is something essentially beneficial for you, but for me, structure gets me up in the morning. It, it gives me the rev that I need to do because I want to achieve some goals and having any goals besides maintaining stability and managing my mental health is very important and that is exercise. So let's get this across. What have I done to lose 56 pounds and why is discipline important? Well, imagine this scenario. You're a professional basketball player and you are a guy that likes to shoot baskets from morning till night. Well, there's another guy that only likes to shoot baskets in the morning or at night, not both. So imagine the guy that takes more time to work on their craft. They are likely to be more successful and that's similar to working out. That is similar to having goals. You should try to spend as much time to achieve that goal as much as possible if you want to be successful in the field that you're in right now, especially working out. So with that aside, discipline, the more you work out, the more you're going to lose weight. And number two, what else have I done to lose weight? What, what are the tools that I've done to lose weight? Well, there's the focus on cardio and the focus on weightlifting. In the beginning of the stages where I just wanted to lose weight, I focused strictly on cardio and I would often do anywhere from an hour to two hours and sometimes even up to three hours of cardio. For the most part in the beginning when I was at the gym prior to pre-COVID era, I would be on the the treadmill which are not the treadmill but the stairmaster the, the stairs and i would get 999 calories in an hour and that would be a thousand calories roughly in an hour and sometimes i do 2000 calories in two hours now for now since i'm at home and i don't like going to the gym because of covid the last year i've been focusing on the elliptical which went to hell so i no longer use it and i bought a treadmill and i also go 999 calories this often takes anywhere from hour 50 minutes to two hour 50 minutes to two hours so my girlfriend or my go-to is my samsung health app i'll show you a brief scenario of it basically it showcases the amount of time i i include in my stairs you'll see that the line that goes across is that you want to get at least 6,000 steps a day, though I go way beyond that. I sometimes try to get 10,000 to 20,000 steps a day, and that is largely incorporates pacing. I not only do the stairs or the treadmill or the elliptical, I spend like maybe 60%, 60, 70% of my time pacing in circles. I used to think that pacing was really bad for me, but in the end, it actually is something that I enjoy doing because it keeps my mind active. It keeps me from thinking too far in the, the future or in the past or grinding on the past. And I feel like by being mindful, by pacing, that has allowed me to at least get me something to do and, and keep pushing forward, taking the next step, which is the number one thing you need to have when there's failure, when you're on your ground, when you are no longer on your feet, when you're on your knees, you gotta get yourself up and rise to the occasion. So my key to success is 999 calories, which is roughly an hour or two, hour on the, the stairs or two hours on the elliptical, or I even sometimes go more for cardio. And then sometimes I add a half hour to an hour of of the discipline of working out. I do various exercises that are on Beachbody. Beachbody is a very helpful tool like Tony Horton, Sagi, Caesar, and there's another guy that does lift, which is high intensity training. Those four guys are the primary coaches on Beachbody, the, the founders of Insanity, P90X, body beasts, things like that. I follow them regularly. I'll include a link below. I think there's just a minimal fee of maybe $9.99 for a year subscription for Beachbody products. You just have to download the app on your TV and you can work from home and you can enjoy 
as though you were actually downloading from the CDs, which is definitely helpful. So let's get back to the scenario of Samsung Health. This is literally the key on how I lost weight. I'm so critical on how much steps I get. I always try to work out six to seven days a week and get anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000 steps so that defers, I usually try to get uh, 200 steps in a month. 200 steps is at least 6,000 steps a day, maybe six or seven days a week. So that's something you have to be critical of. I can just show you the results on my Samsung phone. Uh, basically, I'll just showcase everything from having 200,000 steps to the steps that I get for how long the duration I've had for incorporating uh, 6,000 steps plus and then maybe up to 20,000 steps a day and I try to get anywhere six to seven days a week though there are times in which I kind of murk that waters and I do get less but it's on rare occasions I try to get up every time if I cannot work out I try to pace I try to get on the treadmill I try to get some form of cardio in and to be honest with you I feel like in the beginning cardio for discipline is more important than weightlifting I feel like weightlifting, though muscle does burn fat, the more muscle you have burns fat. I feel that cardio, you can essentially burn more calories in the end, though uh, unlike with muscle building, you can lose weight by building muscle on your downtime and rest time. That doesn't always happen with cardio, but I feel that with desire, the right diet, the discipline comes with that as well. And the way you can achieve that is... Do your best. If you can't start with six or seven days a week, start with three days a week. Uh, start with 10 minutes and then increase that to every five minutes every other day until you can reach maybe an hour a day, three days a week. And if you increase that uh, five days a week, four or five days a week, and if you increase that six, seven days a week. It's pretty much like clockwork. A routine is like clockwork. If, if you look if you don't look forward to it in the beginning, you will look forward to the end because it becomes something that is routinely that you want to do, that you want to achieve. It's like going to work every day. It's like you got to show up every day regardless of how you feel. I get it. There are times that are bad. I get it. You might have suicidal thoughts. And if it gets that bad where you need to go get yourself in the hospital or you are at your point where you want to commit suicide, you have to think about the, um, the choice that you have, which is try to distract yourself as much as you can with your routines, like working out, like doing cardio, like pacing. If you can get by, that would be great and that's enough for you to get by. But if you do a risk assessment and feel like you're in more harm and danger than actually getting through the day, then consider taking care of your mental health first. Though I feel like having a balance of both is essentially what's needed in order to have a very essentially progressive bodybuilding cardio fulfilling life you can fulfill your life fulfill your dreams if you know that you are more mentally healthy and physically healthy that goes pretty well with both wellness so keep these thoughts in mind i've included some pictures of me achieving the 999 calories on the stairmaster and 999 calories on the the treadmill i'll include maybe I don't know, maybe five, six, ten different slides of me achieving that goal. In the future, I'll include all the times that I achieved 999 calories. 909 calories is my go-to goal that I get to every day, whether it takes an hour to two hours. I try to make that happen. I go at a three-pace speed on the treadmill, and I have an incline of 10. If that goes that far, I feel like having the incline increases the time or it reduces the amount of time that to remain to get 999 calories so in a nutshell why do we have routine why do we have discipline number one it's for stability and structure and routine with that that can definitely happen when you're manic it can actually help with instant gratification because most people that have instant gratification they might have the desire but it's short-lived but discipline can go through a longer duration of time and if you're manic you want instant gratification but if you take the time to have a structure routine that delays the self gratification and you end up doing whatever you need to do to get done whether you feel horrible whether you feel great you try to get what you need to get done throughout the day just like work you show up you get what you need to get done and you progress throughout the day and also helps with impulse control you might not want to 
uh, do it right away, but it does having that structure and routine uh, reduces procrastination. So, pro oh, do not procrastinate. Do not focus on instant gratification. Focus on discipline, and that will get you throughout the entire scenario of your life. And you know, time needs to essentially be on your hand if you want to achieve your goals. That's critical if you want to get anywhere. I feel like people on disability might take advantage of the government system, but at the same time, I feel like having a relatively important goal, like bodybuilding, like working out, like volunteering, like exercise, like therapy, like group supports can definitely be healthy for you in the long run. And just in general, take care of your mental health, take care of your physical health, and things will essentially fall into place and you can achieve the dreams that you really want to achieve. So this is Travis Bailett signing off with Beyond Bipolar blog. This is going to add to my Beyond Bipolar fitness division of my channel. So stay tuned for future videos. I covered the three main things that it requires to get in shape, which is desire. The second one is diet. And the third one is discipline. This is the third section of the key factors to lose weight especially with those that have mental illnesses i get it i have a mental illness i'm bipolar i know how difficult it can be struggling with suicide ideations struggling with depression struggling with the instant model of mania i understand that but i'm also been stable medications for a while and that's the reason why i am able to achieve your goal if i can achieve the goal so can you I am just a regular guy with a mental illness. I have bipolar disorder and I can achieve the dreams that I really want to achieve. And I hope I can get your support. Hey guys, this is Travis Bayless with Beyond Bipolar Blog. I'm just doing a screen recording. Today I'm going to teach you three things that I find very beneficial for your, your disciplining yourself. I follow a Beachbody product. It's very important. You can find various other fitness gurus on there. There's several ones that I look up to, and there are several different types of exercises you can be doing. I like Amelia Caesar. He does the work in the prep. It's very good for bodybuilding and some high-intensity cardio. I also like Joel Freeman. He does a lot of various high-intensity cardio, and that's his specialty. So he is great with weightlifting. I follow his course a lot. Sean T is also great for a lot of cardio and some muscle building. And Tony Horton is great. So... Get used to these guys. Get used to this app. It's about $9.99 a month. And that's something you can look forward to. So I feel like Beach Body Products is the steak and eggs. The bread and butter is actually Samsung Health. I recommend anyone to use this accelerometer. You can see in the green is above 6,000 steps. I've done anywhere from uh, 21 to... 22 to 25 that's pretty high and you can see in the last generally i've done over 6,000 steps six seven days a week you can see your active time how many steps i've done today which is not so much well i'll get to a routine later and if you go to the together situation the samsung health that you can see that i've earned 150,000 steps so i'm almost hit 200,000 steps steps you can see the total steps your rank and if i go back to my profile i'm level 22 i'm in the top six so i've also been in the top one top two percent you can see the global challenge if i get 200,000 steps in a certain duration of time i get five stars for 2021 you can see all those that i achieved and in the top eight percent is the best i've done that year and the global map challenge you can see for 2020 I was in the highest I ever gone was the top 3% or top 2% for beach. And I got like, how many steps did I get? I got a lot of steps. I don't think if I can see this. Oh, I got 600, 637,000, 638,000 steps. Rank 17,000, which generally it's very, very good. If you're anywhere in that percent, you're going to be in very good shape so i do a lot of pacing and i pace in circles i pace outside i also do a lot of treadmill like i said you can get some done with the stairmaster the elliptical they do track your steps so it's not always efficient 
I feel like you can get more steps walking. For incline, like I said, I go three and go anywhere from 10. You know, I go 10 incline and three for the speed. You can see as I go back to 2019, I got quite a few done for five of them in 2018. I got a challenge on it, though I started in 2018. I've gotten better and better up till now. So this is why... I feel the Samsung help tracking your steps is very important because it can help you manage your weight. It can help you manage the calories you take in so you can at least adjust yourself to the right deficit of calories you take. And it's just so great. I, I love the Samsung health. I use it daily. It's like my girlfriend. It's my go-to marriage I go to. I use it every single day. There's other apps out there, though I think generally Samsung health is very important. I just want you guys to know that... Uh, if you go to uh, Maps, Google Maps, you can go to um, you can go to your profile, hit your timeline, and it'll track where you've been. It tracks your driving. It can track your steps, and it can track the amount of time. My goal is to get anywhere from six thousand steps a day, at least three day, five days a week. You want to get six thousand steps a day, three. And then you'll likely hit the 200 step mark. But if you go anywhere beyond that, I go 10,000 10, steps to 20,000 steps, sometimes even more. That's two to three hours to even more than that. A day of cardio that does not only include cardio, but it does include that. It, it includes beyond that because I also do some weightlifting, maybe 20 to an hour, sometimes even more. I don't recommend to go as intense as me, but this is the reason why I'm in the best shape of my life. Because I often do, uh, I spend my time exercising. It's one of my passions. I let myself go in the past. I want to keep that going to my future. So anyways, you can see here that I'm going to, in this video, you'll see that I've been doing some exercises. And I'm just showing you the routine that I'm doing. I'm following one of uh, the routines on Beachbody. So, like I said, this is Travis Bailey signing off with Beyond My Polar Blog. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button if you like these videos. I look forward to hearing from you. Once again, take care. Have a good one. See ya.